This live stream is sponsored in part by TintWiz. TintWiz is a CRM suite designed for window tinters. From acquisition to invoicing and everywhere in between, you can run your business more efficiently and more profitably with TintWiz. Check it out at tintwiz.com. You can also download it for iOS and Android. Don't forget your free 30 day trial at sign up. This live stream is also sponsored in part by Dry Shrink Prep. Dry Shrink Prep is the healthy alternative to dryer sheets. Made with 100% all natural ingredients, Dry Shrink Prep is changing the industry for the better, one shrink at a time. For more information and a purchase, go to drystringprep.com. This live stream is also sponsored in part by Solar Effects Window Films. At Solar Effects Window Films, their goal is simple make your car look hotter while keeping your interior cooler. Their automotive window films are manufactured with the most advanced technologies available, which allow them to deliver a broad range of products to meet your needs. Check out solareffectswindowfilms.com and find out why they're the fastest growing film company in the US. Lastly, this live stream is sponsored in part by you, the viewers. If you're watching on YouTube through the power of Super Chat, or if you're watching on Facebook through the link in the description, you're able to go ahead and donate to the channel. All proceeds go to help support the channel and are much appreciated. Just lower this down just a little bit. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another live stream. Uh, we're doing good. This is the second week in a row. Uh, I was going to do it yesterday, but I actually had a job yesterday, which is a great thing. So um, so I was I changed it. So typically I work for myself Sunday, Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, just double check and make sure audio is good. Everything looks good. Um, just Sunday, Tuesday or Wednesday is typically when I do um, when I do when I work for myself. So um, I'm going to be doing these live streams either on Tuesdays or on Wednesdays. Hopefully I'll do like a like at least a 24 hour update just to let you guys know that that will be happening. Um, but if I don't just make sure to hit the bell notification so you guys are notified whether on Facebook, whether on YouTube, either or just uh, that way you are aware of what is going on here. So big shout outs. What's going on? Daniel Reyna. What's going on? How you doing? Texas Tinder 99. What's going on, guys? Uh, if you guys have any questions, concerns, shout outs, criticisms, if this is your first time here, my name is Patrick. Uh, I'm, an, I'm a full time window tender instructor and consultant content creator partial trying to be as best as I can content creator here. Um, so if this is your first time here, basically what we do is I, you're going to see me in in like a POV uh, POV mode here where I'm going to be tinting a full vehicle today. It's going to be a Toyota Tundra and I'm going to be tinting the entire vehicle uh, sides and back and you're going to you're going to go through the entire process with me. I am going to be here watching it with you as we go through. So if you guys had any questions, concerns, shout outs, criticisms, anything like that, feel free to type them in the comments below and I'll go ahead and answer them live for you here as well. So um, so yeah, today it's going to be a Toyota Tundra. I think it's a 2019, but it could be a 17 or 18. I can't really remember. This one's a little bit different. I do hand cut this entire vehicle and the back window is a full roll down window that I hand cut, which I have never done in the past. So I just want to, um, I want to check out the other one, other, other, uh, comment streams here. Just make sure that I'm not missing anything here. Sometimes uh, if you guys are on Facebook, if it's a private group, uh, the com, I can't see the comments, um, on my software. So I have to actually go into the, uh, into the group itself. So it looks like we're good to go here. I think everything else is running and up and running. So we're, we're good. We're good. Let me go ahead and pull up here. Just want to get everything up. Oh, uh. Hmm. I don't like that. All right. So I hope everyone's doing well. I'm well, doing well. Texas tender 99. I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. I got no complaints. I have no complaints. I'm going to change just to 1080p and uh, wide view here. Uh, it should be good to go on that one. If it's not, then we're going to go ahead and uh, try it on a different uh, a different one. It's actually not. Is it loading? Yeah, we're going to be good. We're good. We're good. Um, okay. What I want to do, let me go ahead and change my screen here. 
change it over here there you go so as you can see down below here is going to be the live stream here of me actually attending it um i did this about a week ago and i'm going to be hello i'm going to be up here so if you guys have any questions concerns that's um just you can ask me and i'll be right here with you but we'll be going through this whole all together all right go ahead and lower down the background music and make sure the audio is up i think we're good to go sean what's going on sun's out guns out that's right baby <laughs> officially officially 180 pounds we're working on it we're getting there we're getting there okay nicholas what's going on good to see you good to see you back at it that's right baby i do apologize guys those of you guys that, are, that have seen this before i know i took a little bit of time off i was kind of revamping how i was going to continue to do this um just a couple things happened i can't i can't shoot at the at the at the shop that i work at now um so i have to be a little bit more creative in regards to how i do this but the important thing is is that we are doing it eric what's going on welcome brother welcome to the live stream we're gonna go ahead and get started guys as you can see right here it's this video is gonna take about two hours hours and three minutes and then uh and then we're gonna just keep on keeping on sean thank you very much brother thank you very much we're trying to live a, a healthier happier life you know fat pat's gone fat pat's gone trying to be healthy baby all right let's go ahead and get started why can't i hear anything oh hold on i know why Mm-hmm. <laughs> the sound is going through my speakers right now and then needs to go through my system. Sorry. Let's rewind this puppy back up. Alright, right here. Ready and go. There we go. Audio. Yep, we're going. I do that to check to make sure that the the, right, guys, the camera's to recording. Another live stream here. Uh interesting today. We have a full-size truck. This is a, a Toyota Tundra. Um, full-size truck. I've never done a full-size truck in this in this single-space garage. Um, we're gonna R and R the two fronts, and we're gonna tint the sides and the back. The interesting part is gonna be this one because this back window is actually uh, a roll-down window. So I'm gonna have to uh, fiddle around with that, being able to uh, tint it. Uh, I think I'm just gonna hand cut it just because I've never hand cut a window like this before. I think I'm gonna hand cut it just like like a normal window is just gonna be a lot wider. Um, and yeah, the only the only issues today will be because I'll be working with such small quarters, tight quarters. Um, that'll make it interesting. Let me think. I don't think I want to take the doors off. No, make it simple, make it easy. All right. Um, I guess let's do passenger side first. Let's see how far we have. It's called 22. 22 by 35. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pull down 22 and call it a day. Do it sideways, I'm not gonna shrink anything. Hey, Nicholas asked a really great question. Has a mobile tenor uh, got any suggestions for nabbing dealer accounts? Uh, tiered pricing, discounts? Actually, uh, I already messed that up. In regards, so measuring from the bottom here, I'm gonna slice it up here. So, in regards to uh, to dealer accounts, whether you're mobile, 
here's the thing whether you're brick and mortar or mobile most of the time you're going to the dealership so you're going to be mobile no matter what right so this is going to be pertinent for everybody um that uh in my experience uh, I'll, I'll tell you what there's a lot of manufacturers a lot a lot of lumars that are going to dealerships already and setting up in-house so it's getting harder and harder to get dealership accounts um and you got to be weary of where you're going like honda right now would be a really great a, a really great fit just because the door panels are easy to pop off they're quick cars you know i wouldn't go to volkswagen i wouldn't go to audi because those are little, those cars take a little bit more time a little more finesse and a little harder to burn and turn them um but i wouldn't give discounts either i i mean if they if you think that's going to be a good one i mean if you if you can negotiate a price where they can guarantee you x amount of cars because you're preloading um then you can then at that point if they're guaranteeing you x amount of cars then i would i would say you can give them a little bit of a break if you'd like just con considering its volume um but at the end of the day the sales guy doesn't give a shit how much you charge the the manager of the part the dealership doesn't give a shit how much you charge because they're just going to turn it around triple it and throw it on the addendum so it doesn't matter right and if they end of the if the owner says no to the tent then they're going to throw the tint in for free and they just sold a 20 30 40 thousand dollar car so um so i I've, I've always been weary if they don't give you a guaranteed amount then i don't give discounts what you could do is you can you can do a monthly tier system so like the first 10 cars are full retail and then after the first 10 cars they get a 10 percent discount and then after the next 10 cars they get a 10 percent discount and maybe max out to like a 30 percent discount that way they're giving you the discount or you're extending the discount once they've shown you that they're bringing you business a lot of people get into the game where like i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do it for 60 percent off and they get one car or like a set of roll-ups once a month and it's like that's not even worth it you should be it's not even worth it at all so that's my uh that's my two cents in regards to dealerships yeah Which is right there. I've been obsessed with this hand film handler for uh for mobile by the way. For automotive. Take a look at the window. So the window shifts and stays in the front end here and starts opening up and leaving a gap. So I'm gonna cut just half of it. I'll show you. This window does kind of shift more forward, down and forward. So we're gonna compensate for that to make sure that there's no gap. Uh, you know what brayden i cut these like normal and i didn't see much shifting truth be told the back windows they reminded me of like the older like denali's because it gaps at the very back so you have to cut them a little bit differently and i found out the old f-150s do the same thing i did an 09 uh, f-150 yesterday and it did the same thing like the front stays still but as it, ro it, it rolls down it shifts so like you end up getting this huge uh this window gap at the back so you got to cut them a little bit differently not as traditional So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this side and the bottom and then probably only halfway and then I'm going to tack it or shift it, tack it, do whatever. Um, and then when I roll it down, actually, I probably won't even shift it because I got to move it down an eighth and it'll, it'll seat it in there for a little bit. So you'll see. It reminds me of those, uh, older Denali's 
I gotta stop talking. <laughs> I repeat everything I say. I do that shit in my real life too. Like, I am like the king of like repeat storytellers. For those of you guys that have watched this channel in the past, I'm sure you realize that I repeat stories like you wouldn't believe. This is carbon effects, 15%. So we did 15 on the back end, and I think we did 15 on the front or 30 on the front. I can't really remember. Uh, this is my entry level film, Carbon FX. And then I have my standard film, um, which is my IR FX or my entry level ceramics. And then I have my high performance, which is my uh, FX Plus, like the, the good, good stuff. Um, and I did switch that, and I hope I didn't, I don't talk about it here, um, but I did switch it because I used to say good, better, best. Um, and now I have now since switched to entry standard and high performance gives it a little bit more, uh, separation. Um, and when you say entry, it sounds, it sounds cheap, but you're not directly calling them cheap. You know, it's like, it's, 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 uh, it's psychologically, it sounds just a little bit better. Uh, this one's a roll, uh, TJ, this one's a roll down window. Roll down window. Uh, probably check back in about an hour. Let's see. Oh. Leave it. All right, I start messing with this thing in an hour and a half, TJ. If you want to pop back in in an hour and a half, 1230, I'll start on the back window and I do hand cut it and it's a roll down. All crew max tundras have the rear rear roll down window. Nice. I've just never experienced it to hand cut it. So I guess that's a good thing. Not having a plotter and being mobile and doing my own thing. This is like, it's like really up my game in regards to like, um, in regards to, to hand cutting and just being, being more observant and, and, and seeing how the window, uh, seeing how the windows roll down and how they should shift and, 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 and a plan of attack in regards to when you're cutting. I still want a dang plotter, because then I don't even have to mess with any of this. Text this down a little bit better. I want to bring this down because I want to expose this this other edge. There we go. Now this edge is exposed, so now I can cut into it. TJ, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I've done them before. I uh, do it basically like a roll down. Whoa, what the hell just happened? Do it like a roll down um, and remove the gaskets. Yes, absolutely. And bottom load. That's exactly what I do. Exactly what I do. Just treat it as a big roll down. Well, high on like on top of the ridge and so. Uh, yeah, uh, Brayden, the gasket the pulls out super easy. Like literally no problems. Adam, that's right. All that hand cutting will prep you for the tint off if you're t competing. Yeah, I mean, the plan is still that. Um, I, I, I've i just been so damn busy. I still have to secure away sponsorships. So, um, so once I, I, I think I'll get confirmation probably sometime this month. Um, I usually have to pick up about about four sponsors just so so I can go. Um, but uh, carbon blades, I'm going to have to wear some more. But uh, this year might be a little bit more affordable because it's literally driving distance. So I don't need to have to pay for a plane ticket or a rental car. So it would be nice. Be a little bit more affordable. I'll probably announce. I I'm going either way, but if I don't get sponsors, I could probably only go for like a day or two. Something like that. 
So we'll figure it out. Figure it out. Roll with it. Obviously, I'd love to go. I mean, it's what I do. I've done it for the last three years, and it's it's always a great time. Always a great time. Yes, TJ, you're damn right. The damn roll ups without a plotter sucks, it especially a plotter with one. I don't know why. I've been having trouble with this carbon. The carbon blades have been having trouble with it. Um, the last time I hand cut, I just used a regular stainless steel and it just like, maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I'm just, I don't know. That was something. Uh, Raul, I do not speak Spanish, yeah, unfortunately. Blade, it almost doesn't like. I do not speak doesn't Spanish. Want to lay down flat against the glass. What I can do, Raul, is I can check and see if I can add captions. You're on YouTube. I can see if I can add captions for different languages, uh, Spanish and uh, and other and other popular languages, and I, that's what I can do. And then that way you can change the setting. Um, I hope you understand what I'm saying. I just feel sometimes like some cars, like like that 09 uh ford i did the other day it was like cutting like butter like a, a hot so knife strange. to butter and then like this tundra i'm here with a dang carbon blade and i'm like jesus this thing won't slice Just trying to trim it up and clean up this line a little bit better. I got, I'm working on like looking down when I do, apparently when I do close up shit, I like, I look up so I can see, but then I angle the camera up. Much better. So this curves a pretty good amount. So I'm going to. Curve it a pretty good amount. Bring it off. So this is where it's halfway and this is where the glass is. So they kind of meep. So we're just gonna smooth out that transition. This dip should be hidden. It normally is. Uh, Eric says, uh, how come you didn't go to the tin shop and ask them to pre-cut again for you? Uh, the reason why is because I thought this was a Toyota Tacoma, which is no big deal. Like easy peasy, right? If I would have, I didn't realize, I didn't really think about it because it was, it's a neighbor of mine who I tinted for. And, um, 
and the stupid thing is is he's driven by in this in this truck but i never like paid attention and i thought it was a full-size tacoma and then i didn't realize that the back window was a roll-up so um i would have if i realized that the back window was a roll-up most trucks they're like easy peasy burn them and turn them you know what i'm saying so that's why Oh, Adam. Perfect. Uh, what was that? Raul. Raul on YouTube. Uh, so can you speak Spanish? Um, Adam is watching on one of the Facebook groups. You can either go on window tinting business, um, or you can go on the Sun Solutions tinting business page. And uh, you can actually go on Facebook and enable captions. And then I guess you can switch it to Spanish. Right. Thanks, Adam. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, brother. Scrub a dub one more time. Yeah, because we're bottom loading. Definitely want to wipe off this bottom area. If the background music's too loud, y'all let me know. I'm trying to bump it up so it doesn't seem so. Ugh. I've done live streams with no background music. It is freaking obnoxious. Obnoxious. I have to turn on this light. Ooh. I don't know if I like that. Off, off, it won't turn off. Christ. Lord almighty. Lord, I can't wait for a bigger place. I can't wait. The off button doesn't work in my damn light. Who? Off, 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 off. There it is. Christ. Uh, how much did you charge for that, that truck? The prettiest. That line dips a little bit. Uh, how much did you charge for that truck? That truck, um, in my in my entry level film, I charge one sixty five for sides in the back. A I little think bit that's more. The frustrating thing with me, especially with hand cutting, is that like I want everything to be damn near perfect. I've had to adjust my prices. Um, I was a little bit more premium in the past, um, but I wasn't getting any so work, so right I had to lower my prices. Right. If I'm correct, when you roll it up, it should disappear. Yep. By a scan my chain. Uh, Raul asked which one's better, uh, Raul from YouTube, excuse me, asked which one's better, smart card or the felt card for back windows? Um, actually, the smart card's really great, but if you're brand new, um, or you're weary about the shrink uh, a felt card is much more forgiving a Mac tack I I've used the same Mac tack for like four years um, But a Mac tack is much more forgiving uh, uh, Even in a smart card if you hit a like a grain of sand just right you can tear the film or drag That piece of sand across the mm -hmm. film and ruin it, but a Mac tack will just kind of go over it What I will so. probably do Now that I've hand cut this window and I can kind of see what's going on um, What I'll probably do is not even cut the bottom half and what I'll do is this, I'll just cut the top half, stop, and then continue that line. And that way it'll be a little cleaner on that side. It's still good. Raiden says, dang, that's an awesome price for just color stable film. Yeah, side. yeah. You know what? I was, uh, I was much more top tier, but the, but the issue is as, as a brand new established business, I have no reviews on Google. Um, you know, I have few likes on, on, on my business page. So like people don't know me, right? People don't, I'm, I, I'm not established yet. Hand, they're pretty good. So that's why my prices like started out at like 199. And then it was at like three, like I had like a 12 and a half percent something like, like that. I had much higher price points, but the problem is, is I wasn't getting any work. So 
and I, I would rather lower my prices and actually get work and get and do a little bit more work and grind it out versus staying high on my prices and then just not getting any work um probably plus two um when i started sun solutions tinning it, in february of 2019 like i bought the van and a week later covid was announced like that killed uh, that killed a lot of business as well so um right now that's what my price points are at i'm actually either right at the same prices as a shop or slightly below which make me makes me a little bit more tantalizing because of the convenience factor of me going to them um, but eventually once I do have my name established a little bit more, I have a more deeper clientele, I will probably bring my prices up back up to where they were. I think like around at least 199, because I think that 199 is a good price point where it kind of keeps the riffraff away. It keeps the, the, the older shittier cars away because it's harder to work on, on older cars versus newer cars, at least 10 years or newer. So, but yeah, shave the edge. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, baby. I'm not an edge shaver. I'm working on this where I keep looking time. up too much time. Yeah. Currently right now, my entry level film, my entry level color stable carbons, 165, you know, Hopefully this film hasn't been on so that's long. a solid, solid price. Um, and then, um, my IRFX is now at 245. Um, and that's a badass film for that price point. And then, um, but then my high performance, my FX plus, uh, I'm still at like 515 for a sedan. And that's keeping the same price, the same profit margins. Yeah, it's like an all the adhesive on there. Yeah, I'm not even charging him for removal. He's a neighbor of mine. He says, I could just remove it for you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Not necessary. Keep in mind, guys, I will be back next week, Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on, on which one. Um, so just keep an eye out. If you guys are on the Facebook groups, window tending business, um, then you can guys can go and check that out. I'm there, I'm there live as well. I multi-stream through my personal so I can post it to other places. Uh, window tending business, my business page, and YouTube. So a number of different places. It's coming off fairly easy. Fantastic little trick a coworker showed me right here. When I do removals, um, I particularly like to bottom load. Um, because you have to be careful with all this adhesive. Like right now, I, I have the, the the film folded down so it'll catch on the film. But once I start doing the bottom portion of this, I have to be careful that I'm not scraping and then shoving adhesive down into the gasket um, because then that adhesive could come back up when I'm doing the installation. And so I just, I usually take a little bit more time to remove the dang thing. Okay, this. Just take it. Thank you. Thank you. Especially when you're hand cutting. And, uh, you don't want to mess up. <laughs> you don't want to you don't, you don't ever want to mess up, but I feel like hand cutting Obviously it takes a little, I mean, it takes a little longer, especially like me, where I'm like OCD about the shit.
With the one inch razor blade across the top, I try to be, I don't try to put too much pressure because then you'll start, um, I think that's a scratch right there. Not one that I did. I don't want to put too much pressure because then I will uh, put like a little dent in here. In the blade, not the glass. Right to the bottom there. You all saw that I was gonna start over here and I changed it and went over there. There's a black ceramic coating. This is Toyota and all the information for the glass and stuff. Um, if I would have started off on this side, that black ceramic coating would have actually dulled my blade a little bit and it could have made it harder to remove the rest of it. It does, it's really not that hard to remove, but it makes it easier. Tight spaces. Got to go nice and slow, hopefully. I can pull this off without removing, leaving the adhesive. I think it's working. Little money is this thing buried an inch deep. They had to have bottom load this thing. And then now when I'm cleaning out, watch my knife, my knife, watch my knife. I want to pull out, I don't want to push down. Pull up and away, get my knife in there. And then pull away from the edge. I don't want to be shoving it into the edge. That way I'm trying to scrape the adhesive up and out instead of down and in. No worries, brother. No worries. Nicole. Nichols. K. Nichols. A Z Customs, what's going on, baby? Hell, what's going on? Good to see you again, man. Good to see you. Hope business as well. Does your industry slow down during the winter time or does it keep on rolling year round? Let me know. Notice guys, when I do removals, I specifically use paper towels. Yeah, more razor blades. Um, and reason why is that maybe you can get it, you can kind of clean off. If you use a uh, microfiber towel, you'll get the adhesive on there, but I throw all my microfiber towels together. So you might get it off the original towel, but that's gotta go somewhere else. And it's gonna end up going on other towels. So if I happen to use a microfiber towel to remove adhesive, then that towel goes into the trash because it'll compromise uh, the cleanliness of the rest of the towels. So I've learned that the hard way. One more time. 
Very light on the edge, so don't throw my blade. I don't think I switched just my to film. That I get all the adhesive off. Which means I must have done 15 all the way around. That's what. Which means it'd be 15 on the front and over the factory, 15 would make it right around 5%. Uh, Brayden said, uh, dude, your van is badass. Are you still happy with the purchase? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, if I had the opportunity and the money to go into a location, um, if, if I knew now what I, if I knew then what I know now, if I had the money to go into a location, I think that might be best. It's difficult as a mobile business, um, because you always, you can consi consistently have to have, um, this puppy. have, um, advertisements running. And if you don't have advertisers running people, it's done. You know, there's no foot traffic, literally. So, um, but I am happy with the van. I'm happy with the purchase. You know, the good thing about mobile is that it, it's, um, you can build it up and the ov overhead is much cheaper, much more affordable than a, you know, brick and mortar. Um, you know, it's just little things that you have to do when you're mobile, like on my Google, it shows a garage, like a random garage. And uh, what I need to do is I need to put more pictures of me and the work that I've done so that people know that realize that I am mobile and not just like some random guy in a random garage. So, uh, building up your, your clientele is important. Getting reviews. I mean, Google reviews here are important. Um, I know in San Antonio, I was talking to, um, the owner of, uh, Tint Avenue and Yelp reviews are like, is, is life out in San Antonio. So, um, so it really kind of just depends on your demographic, but, but, um, I'm being out there socially the is important off the film handler i know that this is a straight edge so i could possibly it keeps it's rolling as long as i'm rolling rain sleet snow sun wind wow <laughs> peacocks you're not gonna see many peacocks on this channel anymore I even have to cut the bottom <laughs> edge. good z customs i'm glad nice. So what I did here is because I cut a I cut I cut a straight edge with that uh, with that film handle that cuts a straight edge. Um, so I just lined up the bottom to the bottom of the, of the windowsill and it was straight. I'm good to go. I don't even have to cut that side. Jaybird says first time using a plotter at a dealership yesterday. Wow, learn learn from your videos. Amazing plotter. Jaybird, what kind of plotter is it? Good job, man. I'm glad. I'm glad. Z Customs, the fourth location of the morning. Lord almighty, you getting that grind, baby. Good for you. Learn to weed patterns from me. Good, I'm glad. That's the whole point of this channel. As long as it makes the job easier, makes you a little bit more money. All I care about, baby. <laughs> I wonder... So not everyone can see the chat. I see a consolidation of, of chats from all over, like from wherever else I'm streaming. But like, if you're on YouTube, you only see YouTube. Would you guys like a chat like right here somewhere? So you guys can read like what my chat's saying. Durr. Baldi says durr. Digi film brand and plotter. Hey, as long as it's a film brand and a plotter, screw it. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, baby. <laughs> Never heard the brand before. It'll last a year then, probably. Probably last a year. Let me do this. Let me know. Do you guys like something like this? Hold on. Did it shift on me? 
That way you guys can read all the question statements and things of that. that crazy that's... curve that comes up this way. I'm going to cut the top edge and it's going to look crazy. Let me know if you guys like that. It'll be buried. It'll be fine. It'll It'll be then fine. you guys can see the chat. Tell myself that. Because then you can see everything. Where chats are coming from YouTube, from Facebook, things like that. Everywhere. Um, I'll be taking a family vacation for Christmas and New Year's in Florida. Uh, I'm going to do some work while I'm down there. I would love to catch you. Uh, I'll be in Kasimi. Not sure how far that is from you, though. Uh, Z Customs, I would love it, man. Um, Kasimi's a little far from me. It's about an hour and a half, two hours away from me. So same place around Orlando. No stalkers. He doesn't like that. <laughs> Jaybird. <laughs> Jaybird. <laughs> Z Customs is people, man. I don't know. I mean, I don't have his like personal number and the phone and whatnot. Right here. But it wouldn't be the first time. That's how I met uh, Martin Fowler. Martin Fowler just showed up at the shop one day. And you know, it's just I opened the door. I'm like, hey. He's like, hey. And then I looked for a gun just to make sure. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do. Is I think I'm gonna get rid of this and move it down below my my name my name right here, and then shift this over. Let's switch it around. See what we can do. He needs friends. Don't be scared. I need for I'm, I'm making some friends actually I'm making some friends Um, Vacation for Christmas and New Year's uh, I'm in Tampa I'm in Tampa if you want to bring the bring down, the family no, down because I scraped I don't want to be an inconvenience though I think as I scrape this Just make it me to McDonald's use this to scrape the sides Stupid. <laughs> um, I think it's dull. That's why I didn't cut it. Just me to McDonald's. Stupid Jaber. <laughs> you make me laugh. It shouldn't be that difficult to cut. There it is. Yeah, you see, I had to do like a micro trim just because I don't know. I don't, I think I might get off the carbon blades. I might, I might just have to just because I've been having to retrim that shit and it's like why why do I need to do that there is a serious curve though serious curve and notice how long this takes me like a plotter I'll be out already I feel like it's a lot to cut off a corner Twenty thirty vehicles. Wow. Yeah, let me know when it gets closer. Absolutely, Z Customs. Let me know. Catch some lunch or something, bro. Hooked up, better not be looking at my car. Don't talk to Joe by.
Hold on, guys. The wifey came back, so she's just telling me, hi. I could do a link here, right? Yeah, there we go. All right, so guys, I'm going to go ahead and add the... Uh the link to window tending business this is the facebook group uh that i created there uh, we're doing really good we got about 7500 members um so mm -hmm. sometimes i'm not available to like answer questions directly and whatnot so i created a group um so that, that we have a place for the community to be able to talk and um, amongst themselves and, and share and, and work together and whatnot really safe environment good place so if you're not a part of window tending business on facebook go ahead and check it out that's where we're at too as well just another place. YouTube channel if you guys aren't aboard board or a part of the YouTube channel you guys can do that as well just giving out all the links all the links A quick update for those of you guys who were asking because I did get some uh, some questions in regards to it um, We do have tools up over at dry string prep now as well, but uh, but we're still waiting on our in income of uh, Soak shields, so we're gonna like I said some of you were asking we're gonna be carrying the the mini the OG and the XL and the three uh, the, the installer set that has all three of them. So those will be available uh, We're just waiting for that uh, that shipment to come in and then so it should be soon. So Raul, have an 03 Toyota Sequoia to tint. Two front windows. Any suggestions for installation? As far as I know, the Sequoias are pretty straightforward. You know, slice one side, slice the other. Shift, slice the front. Even out the the, the two sides. Cut the top. Cut the top. Shrink if you're gonna need. If you're gonna uh, top load. Unless you have experience, then you don't have to shrink. But if you have experience, you probably wouldn't be asking me, right? Too shabby, Abby. Check out the Toyota Sequoia. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, uh, no, those windows look pretty straightforward, bro. I wouldn't even shrink. Shouldn't you should have you should have no problem shrink uh, just installing without a shrink. Absolutely. Am I still recording? There we go. Uh, excuse me. I'm a brute sometimes. I'm sorry. Apologize. Gonna get a fresh towel. Apologize for the eight percent that are women Edge who club. watch this this channel and my content. Eight percent. Eight to nine percent. For the ninety-two percent that are men, y'all have heard a burp before. You're fine. If you guys are just watching us, uh, again, if you guys have any questions, concerns, shout outs, criticisms, feel free to type in the comments below and I will answer questions live for you here. Uh, in regards to tinting this car in particular, what I'm doing, what tools I'm using, things of that nature. It's all, I'm an open book. That's why I'm here, baby. Year is this? Justin, what's going on? This good morning. Good morning, good morning. So I'm gonna do it a little bit different this time. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this side, this side, roll it down halfway, cut the top and follow that curve, and then finish it, finish that straight off, edge off. I think that'll look a lot nicer. Um, but I wanna kinda grab my the West my, Coast should um, be waking up. That's the hard part about my peel board. Like I want to start doing. I mean, I, I, it's like trying to time out the live streams because they usually take about two or three hours. So like, if I can't go too early, because I could do it at like eight or nine, but then I block out the entire West Coast. Like no one's up at five or six watching tent videos. You know what I'm saying? So I think a ten o'clock is an okay one because it's seven. People are starting to just get up, get ready, and whatnot. That's my van, by the way. If you guys have never seen it. The good old work van. Clearly, it was a little windy. Benches out the way. Love that damn thing. Jeff H, good morning from Oregon. Good morning, sir. Good morning. It is 8.47 in the AM. Welcome to the live stream. Copy time out.
Uh, Justin Abalos uh, said, what percentage are you doing? This is uh, my Carbon FX film and we're using 15%. One five. So it'll end up being 15% on the uh, on the front windows and it'll end up being about 5% on the back windows and back door. Jeff H says, how's your van working out? Working out great, baby. Working out great. Beautiful. Justin says, looks like 20%. Ah, uh, it's 15. <laughs> 15. It might be because I have ridiculously bright lights over there. Um, where, where the film handler is, where the, where the film's being like held onto. Um, but yeah, no, it's 15. I gotta remember to get more of these for the, uh, uh, for the website. Okay, perfect. And good job saying my last name. Not many people can get that right. Oh, well, I'm glad. I'm glad I got it right, baby. Abalos. What do you get? Abalos? Abalos? <laughs> uh, Justin, while I'm charging for this one, my entry level film, my Carbon FX film, I'm doing it for 165 right now. Um, and that's that price point. I, I've mentioned this before that price point will most likely go up um, next year come spring um, Just because I kept it a little bit lower. That's what I, I'm just breaking you know, into keeping that angle the same all the way through um, Just get the business started. So like I don't have a lot of like online We're reviews on things curve. of that nature So I got to establish myself uh, with with some clientele and then I'll probably raise it up no, that's not my standard film. That's my entry level film. Um, so that's that's the lowest I have. Uh, the next step will be my well, I, I name it my standard. That's my IR FX. Uh, it's a ceramic film. It's got pretty good heat rejections as well. I think 62% no 58% in heat rejection 62% in IR. So it, 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 it it's badass film badass film. And that's a pretty good price point that that one I do for uh, 245. I kind of like the chat up here like this. Of course, of course. Trying to find your balance, letting people know who you are, getting your, your foot in the door within the community and, and building a, uh, a clientele is mostly important. It's the most important. Like I'd love to be only doing like $750 jobs all day long, but like if people don't know you, if you, if you don't have any type of reputation, then you you got to kind of crawl before you can walk. So I'll probably creep my prices back up um, to where they should be uh, once I get more, once I'm more busy. On a grading scale, I would say that this vehicle 
to hand cut, probably not the best. Not one of my favorites. It can, obviously, it could be done. Look down. I'm working on that. Um, look down. Look down when I can look close. It takes a little bit more time. You got to give it a little bit more of an analytical view. You got to kind of plan out how you're going to maneuver it. And even then, those are just assumptions. Like I did over there where I cut the bottom half and the top half and learning that, you know, if I cut the top half and just keep that line going through, I think that's going to end up turning a lot better. I won't know until I actually install it. So I guess we'll find out, huh? Just to let you guys know, next week, Tuesday or Wednesday, and or Wednesday, we're going to be doing a 2009 Ford F-150 full R&R. &R. So I'll be using my steamer, my Wagner steamer. You're going to be, I'm going to show you that. I've never done that on this channel before. Um, and then we're going to be hand cutting um, the sides, the back, sides in the back. Um, but yeah, and that's a full not roll down, full back window. Um, and you're going to see how I did that just, just with the film handler. That way I can minimize waste and uh, maximize productivity and production and profitability. Uh, Jaybird says at the dealership they had a 15 gallon tank. I told them that they need to clean it out and change the filters. Uh, filters, brand new cars getting junk in them. Yeah. Yeah. We had like, yeah, those big tanks and they freaking stink. Like those big tanks will start smelling like rotten eggs. You know, it's different if, if you have a giant 15 gallon tank and that, and everyone's using it and the damn thing like empties out in like a, a week or so. But if you fill up a 15 gallon tank in the last two months, that thing will reek like rotten eggs. I've, I've, I've done it before. I've seen it. Time to share and drop some knowledge. They, they were all excited. Three tinters I was showing them new tips. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. One thing I did change today. Normally I like take the leaf blower and blow out like any leaves or any, anything on the floor. Um, and I didn't do that this time because I don't want to stir up any particulates in the air. Uh, hopefully I can have a, a little bit of a cleaner installation I'm gonna start looking down when I look close up I did a friend of mine's car and I did it out of this garage and I saw it afterwards and it was fine but it, it there you know there could always been a little bit of improvement i saw some you know some contamination here and there and i'm just trying to evaluate what i do and how i do it and see if we can make it better so now i think the plan is that i'll like after at the end of jobs after a job uh, is done i'll go ahead and blow out the garage and maybe if i know a job's coming i'll blow out the garage like a day or two before but not the same day just so I can give time for everything to settle in following that line worked perfectly that's real clean right there real clean I would definitely suggest to do it this way versus the way I did it over there I mean it's still good there's no light gaps you can still see it. it's everything's just fine but um, if you had to go one is better than the other, I would say that this side would look a little bit better than the other. Notate here, um, I don't think I, I, I explained it very clearly and I should probably explain it. Um, due to, as you roll the window down, it basically sits and f stays on the front rail. So at the very end, when you roll it down, the back end starts to open up a little bit. So when I hand cut this, it has to go down and shift forward slightly, no matter what, right? So when I put the film on first, I cut one side and I cut the bottom, right? And I did not shift it because it has to shift anyways, because of that curve, it has to shift forward. So I did not shift it. 
and then i just tacked it down and rolled it down and then i cut the top and uh, cut the top towards the front and followed that line all the way through as far as i can go and then and then what i did is i continued that line all the way down uh, it's important to know that I did not shift this film because if you do shift it, you're going to have an excess of film on the front end and you most likely will not have the clearance and it's going to mess it up. So just to let you guys know that. And I guess through the eyes of a window tinter, I should actually say that because through a client's eyes, it all looks great. And I've done one of this client, I've done one of his cars already. Uh, bless his heart because he's like uh yeah just do the same thing you did on my ultima and i'm like you realize how many cars i do <laughs> i don't think you realize tell us for a door against the wall i'm gonna get a new towel whatever Put this over here Trying to keep it clean. I installed these back ones. They're kind of like the RAV4 back window. So there's space on the sides because it seeds into the sides pretty well, pretty deep. Um, I am going to bottom load that one. Now. I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, but yeah, we'll get to that. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'm putting the towel there because I'm, I have such tight quarters. The door is going to hit the wall. Um, I do have, you can get, um, like rubber, uh, door edge guards, yeah. like removable so ones. They, they either filed this or, um, you can get removable ones or, um, I mean, obviously they're removable, right? But I have a set of those as well. I just didn't even think about it. I just threw a towel in between the, the door and the car. But if you have the, uh, the removable ones, you can get it like auto zone and stuff like that. And then you just kind of put it on the edge. That way, when you open it up, that rubber is hitting and not the actual door itself. Or I'm assuming they filed it and not not like hand cut it. I don't like the filing. The edges don't look as clean, especially if this was a plotter plotter job, which I, I think it was. Still going on the juice. Yeah. Okay, we're a little bit an hour in. Two windows an hour in. Uh, Jason Sapita from, uh, from window tending business from Facebook. He says, uh, do you double Granted, cut part of the work? Part of the scope of the work is I do double cut. Uh, I do double cut depending, um, like these back windows. I was, I was trying to make sure that they were correct and I wasn't hundred percent sure how I was going to accomplish the back windows. So like I do it from time to time. Uh, I'll do a double cut when I know the car and I know like the windows don't shift and it's not going to be a problem. I don't double cut often and I'm trying to do it more so that I'm better at it. But uh, I do double cut from time to time. Is removal. Jason, but sorry if it's been there for a minute because I did not see that. Plotter patterns and y'all see me hand cut and y'all know it takes me a a little longer hand cut. I think if I actually take my time and not rip this puppy off, I can go ahead and peel this off without leaving any adhesive. Which is a better route in my opinion, because you're going to spend time either way. So take your time and do it like this to minimize the amount of scraping you're going to do or rip the puppy off and scrape the whole thing. But when you scrape, you, you, you run the risk of leaving adhesive. Eh, it's not coming.
Give me, give me more line. top edge one more time and then I'll trade out blades. Top load, no way. I know it's a top load. I don't know why I didn't just remove the, the panels, but uh, I did do a top load. Jaybird says that because I mainly bottom load, or it's my preferred method. Especially when I'm doing R&Rs. <coughs> uh, let's see. Uh, says, uh, why do you peel the liner down so far? Does that help with creases? Um, yes, I pull the liner down to about an inch or so. For the creases, really, but also because when I pull the rest of the liner off, I have to wet all that. Um, so it gives me a little bit more working room. I try to keep uh, the insulate, like where the window is, like top and bottom. I like to start, I like to tack like r roughly in the middle, <coughs> in the top half, and then, but not all the way down because I still need room to maneuver the film left and right when I'm bottom loading. So um, you could probably do it a uh, top half or you could probably peel the liner a little bit less than that I did it, but um, but then you run the risk when you pull the full liner off that you have to get it even more wet and it sticks to you. I mean, it still probably works either way. This is how I do it. Uh, Jeff H says, I use a steamer to help get that old stuff off. Yes, I use a Wagner steamer and stupid me, I had a Wagner steamer not seven feet away from me. Um, and I probably could have done that. I probably could have used it. I don't know why I didn't think about using the steamer, um, but I didn't because maybe I just means because it's too fun. I don't know. I probably should have used the steamer in the next in the next live stream next week's live stream. I do use the Damn steamer it, to remove everything. Damn it. How about them Dodgers? Yeah, baby. It's kind of bittersweet for me with the off. Dodgers because I, mean, I meant to rip it off, but I didn't mean for it's rip off. I was going to try to pull the same thing I did last time where it was just kind of at the bottom. Uh, if you guys don't know, I am a diehard, diehard Dodgers fan, right? So that's my right there, right? Um, but it's kind of bittersweet for me because this year wasn't a full year. They would win this year, right? But like they didn't play 182 games and blah, 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 blah. So it's kind of like I'm still excited for it, though. I'm still excited for them. I swear I might be because every time they're in the playoffs and I watch a game, they lose. So I don't watch playoff games with the Dodgers because I swear, hand to God, every time I watch the game, they're getting beat or they're losing or they or they start losing or they'll be ahead. And I'm like, okay, they'll be ahead. Okay, let me watch the three runs ahead. And all of a sudden they're four runs down. So like <laughs> when the, when the, you know, when they're in the pennant race or division race or even in the world series, I don't watch any of the games because I'm, I, I feel like I'm bad luck for them. <laughs> Run away. Thank you, Adam. I appreciate well. it, brother. Appreciate it. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Ba -ba -ba -bum. It's my GoPro batteries. We should have won the year that we that we played the Astros, you know? Maybe if they weren't fucking cheating. <laughs> Goddamn trash can banging motherfuckers. Don't even get me started with that. And my parents live in Houston. Ah. Oh. 
a nice day at least. They should strip it. Think they the should strip the title for this season. and give That's it to nice. the Dodgers. I can't stand a fucking cheater. See that? I mean, even though they all juice, Ninja. right? God oh, damn. Not what you want. Have a little honor. Scrape up and out. Get your knife in there, and then as you're scraping, start pulling it out. There's my duster. Or, if you're gonna bottom load, then this really doesn't matter because you can go push all the shit down <laughs> in there. Not all of it, but you know. You don't have to be so meticulous. Ah! Maybe another 45 minutes? Maybe. Right around. Ballpark. Don't fucking hold me to it now. Gonna go meet my sister-in-law. For uh, I'm gonna go take the dogs to the dog park. My dog Cleo and her dog Nico are brother and sister. Brother and sister from the same litter, actually. So we like to try to get them together, spend some time together, so they don't forget. Don't forget each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 45 minutes should be a good ballpark figure. Pretty much done with this one, and then I just gotta do the back window. If you can't tell, I don't like razor blades being left around as I throw one on the ground. I know where one is. <laughs> At the other shop, we just snap them and throw them on the ground. What not? Um, I don't think I'll do that if I, if and when I get my own shop. I think everyone's gonna need brick. Brief boxes. My fear is like that I locked the dang keys in. So this towel is the prop up against the door towel so the door doesn't hit the wall let's get together yeah 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 don't mind me in the singing This is the first time watching guys and you're seeing me use this film handler unless unless you do flat class as well uh, I wouldn't spend 800 bucks on a film handler I don't know maybe I don't know what are your thoughts let me know it's definitely good for flat I mean I guess and it does has it does have its applications I, I am enjoying using it but I feel like it's 
Overkill? Oh shit. Oh shit. A little windy. A little windy. Oh, <laughs> just squeezing her in, my friend. Wow. Just squeezing her in. She got a big ass. Yes, <laughs> it ain't the worst, though. It ain't the yeah, worst. It's not long, but it, that, that's, good. that's the owner, right, by the way. Exactly. And I forgot. Um, I totally forgot that like this is like a full size truck. And I'm <laughs> like, I'm like, Lord, I forgot about that. Yeah. You mistaken for the uh, Tacoma. Nah, yeah, in my head, I'm like, oh, okay, okay. And then I'm like, I'm pulling it in. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> How's the lift? Uh, not bad. Getting it in there? Yeah. So now I'm gonna go in the garage, my garage down, uh, grab something down. Keep on doing what you're doing. Copy that. I have, uh, I just got, inst I got a, I'm cutting this window right now and installing this. Okay. Everything else is done except for the back window. So I'd probably say ballpark 45 minutes or so. Wherever I'm north. Copy that. I'm off what garage are you, just in case? I'm, well, I'm, I'm just going under to grab something. Oh, okay, okay. I'm building 16. Just uh, shoot me a text when you're done. Copy that. We'll All do. Right. 45 minutes. I said 45 minutes. <laughs> like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> um, Adam asks, uh, Adam from YouTube asks, uh, or not you, from, from Facebook asks, uh, have you dealt with the newer Lexus with the UV coating on the glass? I have. Um, and everyone says not to do it. The NX 300 for those of you guys the, uh, that's the one he's asking about There's a toy a new Toyota too. I forget the name of it same car, but Toyota brand um, I let the owner know that this is a possibility most likely when we remove it It will remove that coating and I left it up to the owner um, The owner it was they were leasing the car and they're like, you know, what? I don't give a shit I want it tinted. I don't care what happens afterwards. I'm like, okay deal fine with me as long as you give them consent and give them the option, if they want to move forward with it, screw it, do it. It's their car. Who cares? Uh, Adam says, Adam from Facebook says it's a must for consistent flat glass work. Yes. If you're doing flat glass work, get a film handler. Hey, Sal. Hey, Heather. You'll, my neighbors, you'll work save it every day, man. If you work a little bit every day, you don't have to work full time five days a week. <laughs> it was a Sunday. I think I was doing this car. Um, but yeah, if you do flat glass work, even if you do just a Don't couple of years, try to get out as much work as I can. Yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely worth the investment. You know, the, the film handler and handler now, I think it's 800 or 850. Have a good and, one y'all. And then the la you're going to have to pay for the ladder, which is probably another hundred and something, 150. So you'll spend about a thousand dollars. Um, but it's worth every penny worth every penny in time and aggravation especially when you're doing flat glass let's get together yeah, um, yeah. you won't have these crazy excess fil films you'll actually be able to cut straight lines it's just so much easier i do have a couple sliders in my living room i've been contemplating doing a flat glass to keep it too long live here, stream and i don't wet the top here or i wet the top here because if you don't tack it just right It'll actually stick to this, and then your pattern will shift. So then when, when it's time to cut, um, it's all fucked. <laughs> and you don't even know. Sometimes you don't even know because it only shifts just a little bit. So you don't even know <laughs> until you're installing, and it's like two inches too shy. What in the hell was that noise? Oh, copy that. I'm learning that the bezels on this truck is particularly angled. The bezel, like if you're looking at the side of the mirror, the window, like as a side profile, the amount of curve it has is pretty substantial. Yeah, I take everything, pretty sure. As long as PayPal takes it, I take it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well get the points, right? Yep, absolutely. I do everything I can to get that. Ain't that the <laughs> truth. <laughs> Come on. Not 
the greatest top edge cut. I don't know why, I'm having trouble with this. I'm having trouble with this vehicle. What I'm gonna do as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss that blade because I scraped it already, scraped the sides with it. Battery died. Got about an hour 25 left on the memory, which isn't bad. Do your sliding doors on stream. With the memory card that I do have. Ooh, there you go. Let's That's what I was thinking about doing. This. So here's the idea about uh, about that, guys. If you guys, I would want to do like a very basic uh, video in regards to how to install flat glass and how to install for like sliders and such. But it would actually be a true live stream. Like right now, hi, you're seeing me here. I'm live right now here. And then there's a video there. You'd actually see me connect the GoPro and I'd be live, live, live. So like I would have to hear you guys and the questions live and answer them live as I'm doing it. So just an idea. Adam said, uh, we did a full R&R &R on that Lexus due to some shit work from another shop. We steam removed, sprayed Fusion Epic Orange, and burnt through some white scrubbies to get it all off. Worked out great. There you go, baby. As long as you're getting charged, as long as you're charging for your time, that's all you want. I think I'm going to try to reach from the entire thing. I think just two hours and 30 minutes, sometimes it's like pushing it. So I think I, I, think I want to get a new, um, new memory card. Bigger. Or just get multiples. So what I'm doing here is I'm going right below, right below the edge, because the edge I cut is kind of jaggedy. So by doing this, I recut the edge, the much cleaner cut, minimizing the amount of possible lift. Just a sliver. I mean, that's a 30 second. No, barely anything. But it's gonna make the top edge look much cleaner than what it would have been. It's so busy. Venza, that's right, Adam. Adam said Adam said the, the Toyota Smart vehicle dates. with that same coating is the Venza. Oh, that's life. absolutely correct. Um DSP added solar effects as a distributor, which is super exciting. So now um that's actually I mean currently it's on its way to them, but now you can um now you can purchase DSP products through SolarFX if you're a SolarFX dealer. And hopefully that will steamroll. Um, I have a, actually, I have two or three other 
people, companies interested in uh, carrying DSP. I just have to wait. Um, I can't take on three or four new distributors at a time because the product itself takes so long to make. It takes about six weeks to make enough for a distributor order um, that like I'd be behind in forever. And it, I'd be caught in one of those things where like I don't get paid until the job's done, but like it would the job would take up all, almost all my time. And I still need to make an income until that until that job is paid. So just trying to stay on top of it. But definitely exciting. Definitely exciting. Um, we're fixed in for those of you guys that are watching. We're fixed in to add window tint tools to the DSP website. And I essentially I've curated um, a number of tools. The tools that I use on a daily basis, the tools that I would personally use, um, is what we're gonna have on the website available. Um, so if you guys are used to watching my videos and you guys are trying to get into the game, then um, you'll have a place where you can buy all, all the necessary tools. I won't carry, unless I have, unless I get like a really good deal and they're like a closeout or something, like I won't carry everything because I just don't need to, nor do I want to. <clears throat> and lastly, we are adding, um, we are also adding um, dry shrink prep edition soak shields. So we are gonna be offering soak shields as well to the website. Just trying to offer more, you know? That way, that way for those of you guys that need tools, can have a place to purchase tools. Um, you know, and especially if you guys watch my stuff and you guys wanna support me, buying those tools for me, which you're gonna buy anyways, um, would help support me in the channel. So, much appreciated. Check it out, dryshrinkprep.com. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have more things as time comes, as, as time progresses and as I build it, I'm gonna build it bigger and bigger. Jaybird asked, uh, is it hard to keep tra uh, keep tank clean? Do I have to start with fresh mix daily? I, I don't with a fresh mix daily. It just kind of depends on how long. Um, I don't like to keep water in there for more than a week. Uh, so that's typically we're right where I'm at. Um, so I do probably four to five to six cars a day, six and days a week. Right there, this is why I back the car. Uh, six days a week. So it'll it'll take me. That'll be right around five to five to five days to six days, depending on volume. Um, and then what I do is I rinse it out. Not only do I dump it, but I put the hose in there and I rinse it out. So I let the water keep going and I rinse it out for like five to seven minutes. So I get all the suds, all the, all the stuff off. And then I kind of look into it from time to time. And I do this probably maybe once, once every month or two, I'll look into the tank and see if I have suds building up like, like soap residue building up on the bottom or on the, on the sides. If that's the case, I take a toilet bowl cleaner and I get it in there and I scrub all that off and then I rinse out again. And then every time I rinse out my tank and put fresh water in there, um, I'll take the filter out and I'll rinse off the filter. And if I do that, my tank stays pretty, relatively clean and I don't, you don't get like, you don't get like the, that little glue, gooey gunk, like soap residue in your installations. Uh, how many drops of soap do you put in your slip solution? A shit ton. <laughs> uh, my tank is a five gallon tank, so it'll hold five gallons of water. I typically put four gallons of water in there and three quarters of a bottle of Johnson's Bayer shampoo, like of the big bottle. So I use a shit ton of, <laughs> of soap, much more than most people do. Are up in, into the shop. I'm back this up just a second. Verse. And that right there, this is why I backed the car up in, into the shop versus going n nose first. Uh, nose first would have had the doors open 
towards the garage door and wind coming in things of that nature it's just you know potential uh, contamination issue so doing it this way where we're facing the garage door the door itself blocks the wind so that is why we're pushed here all right looking good Oh, there we go. Moving along. I'm just glad we don't have to shrink this one. There is a... My buddy Mikey has a Tundra that we tinted and you had to shrink it. It's, I think it's a single single cab, single extended cab, whatever. So the doors are like How much was this job? Long. Like David asked, uh, my ceramic entry level film, not ceramic, excuse me, my carbon FX entry level film, uh, this one was 165 for the sides and the back. And this is kind of a funny car because. Like you literally have to keep the car on the whole time because normally you just do the sides and turn the car off. But since the back window rolls down, I'll turn it off right now. Take everything I need. Paper towels I'm done with. laundry in a moment okay Before we get started, let's see where we're at dimensions wise. Say so widest is 60, 61 and a half, so let's call it 63. And from top to bottom, assuming this is laid in there a little bit. I'm at 16, so let's call it, call it 17. 17 by 63. Hey! By the grace of God. She's, she's got a big ass too, I'll tell you what. I forgot that, uh. I forgot that I haven't I, ha I haven't put in a, a full size truck in this in this garage, <laughs> so there's there's no, very little room, very little room. No, I'm almost done. I got the sides, the back. I had to redo the two fronts, and then I did the sides, and then I'm just working on the back glass right now, which makes it a little bit difficult because the back glass rolls down, 
It's like the only one of the only trucks that the back glass, full back glass rolls down. It's really cool. That's a Toyota for you. Yeah, right? Right? <laughs> she hey. hates Toyotas. I'd take way. it if they gave it to me. Right? I asked a buddy of mine, because a buddy of mine has a full-size uh, Tundra like this. And I said, why did you go Toyota? Like, why not Chevy, GMC, maybe even Ram? Like, if you're going to give me a Ford, I'll take it, then just turn it in, you know, <laughs> trade it in. Yeah, but he says he says the Tundras, they're built really, really, like, they're, uh, the components are really girthy. He says his uncle works on a truck from time to time, and he's just like, holy shit, like, the calipers are huge, and, and I don't know too much about cars, but you know what I mean. Yeah, 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 so, I got to finish up here, and then we're, gonna, we're running over to uh, the dog park. Tasha's going to meet us over there. Uh, quickly, real quickly, uh, Jaybird had a question. It's a serious question. Uh, how do you deal with peanuts with char or chargers and challengers? I'm telling you, bro, clay bar. Clay bar has been the game changer for me for those, the challengers, chargers, Tesla Model 3s, all the cars that like are infamous for peanuts is clean it with your regular cleaning uh, process with the scrub pad and whatnot, and then hit it with a clay bar. Um, and it gets all the the smaller particulates up and off the glass and around the de the, the defrosters, making them super clean. And has changed my game. It is now part of my of my uh, my process. Clay bars. Try it. You can't get you can't go wrong with it. Daniel Reyna in the house. What's going on, baby? Welcome, welcome. Do you want to come with us? Because I think all the all the kids and stuff are gonna be there. Clay bar. Wow. Yep. Clay bar, bro. And clay bar. The good thing is the clay bar, clay bar is used for for paint, outside body paint and stuff like that. You don't need high quality clay bar, and it doesn't matter how dirty it gets because you're not you're not going to scratch or ruin glass. So you can buy clay bar, and it it can last you a good long while. Yeah. Okay. After the dog park, we're gonna I'm gonna come back here. Then I'm gonna head over to uh I'm gonna head to Target in like a few hours. So if there's any last minute stuff you need, let me know. Okay. I can do that. No, no. If I buy salad stuff, it's from Publix, then it's like one a day out. Because if you go two, three days, it wilts and it's, yeah. No bueno. Okay. Well, no worries. I'll get it taken care of. Oh, good. <laughs> copy that copy that all right well we'll we'll be in touch and um we'll be over for dinner soon okay. all right love you uh yeah jaybird have you ever tint with the defrosters on I yes that all. was my previous go-to way to do it um but i don't ah. do that anymore because clay bar is badass Okay, 63 by 17 is what I said. So I'm gonna, where's the tape? Why do, I, why do I do that? How do I wrap it around? I'm gonna cut it out using this 20 inch roll. But using the 17 will make it a lot easier. 72, 20. Let's just go right here. I'm like trying to like figure out the math. So it's like right in the middle. And I'm like, eh, just fucking eyeball it. What's 72? 72 is half of 72 is 35, 36. So as long as the middle is in. Why is this? It can't be 36. Maybe this is off. I don't know. Just line it up, ballpark it. Here's 17. Here's 27. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Still 17 and a half. And now I'm just trimming off a little bit.
60, let's say, 63. Ah, Jesus. I know that this film has crappy glue that doesn't help with peanuts. Um, yeah, is it the crappy glue or is it the dirty defrosters? Because don't forget, uh, window film is designed to stick to glass. So if that glass ain't clean, it ain't off. sticking. And I've also noticed that when you clay bar, like the defrosters, the the dot matrix that are really thick that usually don't stick, um, if you de if you clay bar them, sticks perfectly. Like, like the Model Three, uh, the open frame BMWs where they have the the dots. I really, really, truly believe that you can get a perfect installation with a clay bar. I haven't I haven't had the opportunity to try it yet. But I did do it with a dot matrix that was really similar uh, on the top of like a glare strip and it came out perfect. So as soon as I get a model three, like with an open frame window that has all the like the inch of dot matrix on the back end, I think if you, because uh, they're infamous for not laying down right there and it's all white. But if you can, uh, if you can clay bar it, I think it'll lay down perfectly. Digifilm, never heard of them. Yeah, no. No, I've never heard of them. Digi? D-I-G-I? No, I've never heard of them. I thought that was a typo the first time you said that, to be honest. I'm like, it can't be, that can't be a real company. <laughs> and that's it. Now, this line is straight. Because I just cut it straight. And this line is straight from the factory cut. So I can use either one because the bottom is pretty straight. I'll make it real easy for myself. I'm making so much noise. Oh, damn old man. Palm olive. I've used Digifilm. It has the strongest glue I've ever used. I've never heard of it. <laughs> I know all the films. Really wet. You install with baby shampoo? Well, yeah. Oh, like straight baby shampoo? First of all, that's not cost effective. Is, is how the hell am I supposed to roll this window down? It's legit a nightmare to strip. Fucking up the bottom. I think I'm just going to pull the bottom edge down a little bit. That way when I roll it, because I am bottom loading it, it'll just kind of go right there. So I'm using this as like a giant like roll down window, essentially. Okay, I keep hitting the stupid fucking ball thing for the garage. Okay. Now that I think about it, I don't think I ever fixed that. <laughs> it's probably still up like that. Bottom's good. This is why you get a potter. You don't have to do this shit. <laughs> Especially in these tight conditions. Jesus. Lord. 
All right. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. I'm sure, shit going to find out. Hmm? Hmm? I think it's working. See, that's, this, is, this is the hard part right here. Is I got to roll the window down without touching the window because the controls are at the front. So you have to like pull down the film a little bit so that it doesn't get caught on that edge. Slowly. Okay, stop. You see where I got caught right here? I got to make sure you guys can see this. You see where I got caught right here? I wasn't thinking that for the other side. Fair warning. So it did kind of bunch up on me a little bit, but... So essentially this film is going like down and be in between in the gap where like the cab ends and the and the uh the uh, the the truck portion begins there's like an inch gap and that's where the film is going into got caught on this uh, tunnel cover piece this should be fine should be fine I got the edges exposed Mamba try that clay bar man it's a game changer bro Pat, you and Matt use clay bar? Yes. Actually, I got the clay bar idea from Matt. So, actually, I buy the clay bars from Matt. And uh, he's the one that, that, uh, that brought, it, uh, brought it to the industry. Hold on, let me see you real quick. is the same this is brand new the idea is the same that I'm gonna trim this and then what I'll actually do I'll leave the link right here hold on where it starts to curve I'll take a, about an eighth of an inch off each side before I install it and then that way it'll go in because I can't there's no shifting because this window goes straight down That's the plan, Stan. I put paper towels under film before rolling down on rear. Neat trick. Hmm. Works on forerunners too. How do you mean? Paper towels down. What do you mean? Explain that to me, Jay, uh, Jay Bird. Uh, in the links right there, I just, uh, if you guys are looking for clay bar, Matt is the one that actually brought clay bars to the industry. I don't give a shit what anyone says. No one said shit about clay bars in window tinting until Matt did. Um, so if you guys want to support him, he does sell his own version of clay bars. It is the glass aid clay bars. Just, I left the link in the description right there. Go, go ahead and show him some love. Give him some support because, uh, it for real is a game changer for real. Great idea. I wish, I wish I would have fucking thought of it myself. Damn it. Alligator window tint. I hate that back window. Ain't that the truth, baby? Ain't that the truth? <sighs> Pain in the ass. So I reverse roll all my truck back windows that are full back windows. And I've been doing this method here where basically I'm taking the back window and you I'm putting it across than doing this? the two front doors or the side doors. Getting a goddamn plotter. <laughs> <laughs> My thought was either a plotter or tools. Um, Cause if I would do a plotter, I was gonna do uh, pre-cut kits as well, available. Um, but I decided to go with the tools instead. 
I think that'll be more effective for you guys right away. But the idea about the plotter is that, uh, the idea for the plotter is that, um, for those of you guys that don't have a full stocked inventory of film, but you need some film, like for a gig, you know, cause not everyone's got $700 for a roll of, uh, you know, uh, FX plus, you know, um, and that's just in one shade, especially, I mean, God forbid you, you offer different shades to, uh, like if you live in a state that offers different shades. So, oh, okay, Jay, right, I got behind it. Behind pre-cuts is that you guys can, you guys would be able to purchase pre-cuts from me. Direct and you're, I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna pay a little bit more than what you normally would pay if you paid for straight up roll, but it would help you in a sense with like, it'll help you, it'll help you like start your bankroll, right? Because you need, you need the jobs to get the film, but you need the film to get the jobs. So if you... FYI, um, I didn't know this until I finished and you're gonna see this going on. So this line, I follow straight, right? But like the last like three inches or four inches, it needs to angle in slightly. And look at the back window when you do it, when you get on this car, because if you go straight, I have to actually trim it on the inside, um, which is kind of like an advanced thing. But if you're new, you're not gonna know how to do that shit. Um, so right around three to four inches, uh, to the bottom of it, it needs to angle, sh uh, angle inwards just a little bit. Um, and uh, just the, how the window is cut. And I didn't really look at that until I saw, you know, you get, you get the pre-cut film from me and you get paid from the job and then you can start saving to just buy a whole roll. It'd be more cost effective to buy a whole roll. Let's each their own. Now, technically, because this is kind of like a slice of pizza, right? If the opening is, if you cut it exact and you bring it back a little bit, here's a good example, right here. This angle right here, right? So this is the window. This is the, the print or the cut, right? If I bring it down a little bit off, there'll be an edge around. So technically I might not even have to, but I think the way that this angle is, is to get an eighth of an inch of a gap here, I would have to get almost an inch on top and I want to avoid that. So my phone keeps going off in the video and I hear it and I think it's me. I'm trying to like, let's go ahead and Fast forward this right here. 10 seconds. There you go. What just happened? That's why you don't fuck with shit. Hold on guys. It's loading. Give me a second. There we go. That's why you don't fuck with shit. The hand cutting part. This is actually the easy part. I thought I was looking up enough where you couldn't see my phone. Because I get oh, phone calls and shit all day part. long. Because the installation, pretty dang easy. But yeah, I keep hearing my phone go off looks good. in the video and I keep thinking it's my Thank phone. You. One of my phones.
And there goes an eighth right there. Okay, so I didn't touch the top at all, but I did trim an eighth on the, the downward angles of like the top and then the downward angles. I just trimmed an eighth just a little bit. That's what I'm doing now. Nice tan. <laughs> There's an eighth right there. It's done. Night of the Roxbury. Yes, I am trying to get tan, especially during the wintertime. Hit it. If I don't, I don't have an hour a day to go in the sun, so I go to the tanning bed. But like, I don't look all jaundicey and yellow and weak, sickly. Plus it clears up my face. We're gonna reverse roll this. We're gonna do a reverse roll and a bottom load. Per usual, I roll from left to right because I like to unroll from left to right. First in, last out. So if you want to unroll from left to right, then you have to roll it up, obviously with the liner side out from left to right. And vice versa, if you want to roll from right to left, unroll from right to left, then you have to start on the right side. I like doing from left to right because then my left hand is still guiding the film, but my more dominant hand, my right hand that's more dominant, um, has control of the film, if that makes sense. Which it may or may not. It makes sense in my head. Okay. All right. Boom. Put this puppy right here. And... He doesn't have his seat covers yet, so he's trying to protect it as much as he can, which I get. I totally get. I think he got a, a sheet and just fucking cut holes in it, which is awesome. I'm going to shove this back in when I'm done. So from here, for a bottom load, um, you're literally just going to grab this bottom seal and pull it up. Let's see if it's easier. You roll the whole fucking window down. Uh, why don't you get a someone at Tim Pro asked that? Uh, why don't you get a peel board? They sell it on Amazon or custom make one. Um, I do, I did. Uh, but the problem is my garage is way too tiny, um, very very small. So I even if I could put a, a peel board, it would be have to be in the back of the garage, and then I have to walk across the entire garage, uh, increasing the possi possibility of contamination getting on the window film. So. Um, that gray board, that gray board that you see is my peel board. It's a mobile peel board. So then I load that into my van and I know it's not going to break on me like glass or anything like that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, that's, I mean, that's just what I do. That's just what I've done. It, it works real well for me. That's pretty cool. Jay bird. The niece would make a movie. Uh, whole window down. Close to you. Grab and pull. That's it. Look how easy that was. Just that easy. Bring it in for you. Uh, you you want to go up as high as you can, but still exposing, still exposing these sides. And I just realized that this curves right here. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get into place and then trim it in here. Yeah. Slight calculated risk. I think we're going to be good.
I mean, you could probably. You could probably two stage this, but I feel like it would be a lot harder. <laughs> Alligator Window 10 said, must have been someone super on point to put you into that mobile peel board. Yeah, uh, uh, alligator is where I got the, uh, the mobile peel board, the acrylic board idea for sure. Cause if not, I was just using the car. Sit for two or three hours. <sighs> Sam Pro, still working at the shop? Are you talking to me? Um, part time. Part time. Majority time. I'm there Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I work for myself Sunday through Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can't record over there anymore. So. So now I've been recording when I'm doing my own stuff for Sun Solutions. Um, and that's why it was, that's why it took me a minute to, to get back on the live streams just because I was, I was formulating a plan on how to do so. Cause I can't just stop. Got to keep going. Honey. Yeah. How's the dog park? This back window actually turned out really awesome. All right. And trimming the eighth on both sides uh, actually worked out perfectly too. Damn, that sucks, man. But oh well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Exactly. It ain't my business, so I can't. Uh, I gotta ab abide by the rules. So. You gotta adjust and move and keep on moving on, baby. But I appreciate it, Tempro. Thank you very much. Appreciate the support. Johnny! Welcome, brother. Didn't miss it, man. You know what? If Johnny, if you're afraid of missing it, all you have to do is hit the hit and activate the, the bell notification either uh, on YouTube. Just go down there, hit the little bell notification, hit all, and uh, you'll get notified immediately when I go live. <laughs> little insider trick for you, Johnny. So notice what I'm doing here. I'm kind of folding it so it's like flat you against the window and then facing like me. This. I'm gonna tuck that in where it belongs and trim. I'm just going with it. Same thing here. Tuck it like that. And even with and this two clicks of a blade out two clicks if you go a lot of blade out um you can cut it closer than you realize that's how you trim the shit on the fly just like that I've never actually trimmed the edge of film while it's in a car. 
Should have been a damn surgeon. That's new for me. Boom. Probably better to <laughs> probably hand cut an eyeball that curve at the very end. But but for the most part it's in and I know it's clean and there's no um there's no uh light gaps. <sighs> Nothing. It looks really good actually. I'm pretty sure we could just put the thing right back in. Yes, sir. Yep. Johnny, you did miss the mo a good majority of it, though. <laughs> ah. Lose my scrub. I got it right there. You would think it goes this way, but it actually goes this way. I always thought it goes this way, but it's not the case. I guess I could. Don't mind me. Never mind. What am I saying? Come on, Patrick. Andrew Ford, what's going on, man? Yes, I know, I know. I did. Ha! Ah, I had to get my shit straightened out, man. But uh, everything's good to go. I got, I got a, a new plan for for making these uh, live streams and such. So, as you can tell, I'm not actually in the shop. I'm right here. Um, so I'll be commenting, commenting these uh these videos for moving forward but yeah i'll be here every tuesday and or wednesday depending on uh if i have work or not but tuesday or wednesday live streams they're back back and more consistent than ever i'm pretty sure i ended soon yeah i do another minute or so Put the towel back i'm assuming he has a dog All right, guys, that's pretty much it right there. Um, I basically clean up the rest of it, do some warranty work, cash them out. Um, by that, that is the whole Tundra video. Um, if you guys are just joining us, uh, you're more than welcome to go ahead and um, rewind and rewatch the uh, the whole thing. But, uh, but yeah, for those of you guys who watched around, thank you very much for sticking around. We are going to be back next week, Tuesday and or Wednesday, depending on how much work I have. Check the notifications either on Window Tending Business um or on youtube no window tending business because i do updates and whatnot um or check your notifications on youtube because then i will i will try to post it 24 hours before i go live as well uh yes uh andrew awesome well uh, 
I like them this way. It gives a, a nice new twist to it all. That's right. That's right. You know, I'm just trying to I'm trying to be able to continue to do the live streams because they're much more productive. They're much better for learning. Um, when I was doing just like the straight topical live streams where I was just doing this on Tuesday, Wednesdays, I did that for almost two years and I didn't really, there wasn't really growth or traction. Um, so, and I, I was noticing there was interest being lost. So these are much better live streams, much, much better. So does the shop have anyone else besides you working there? Yes, actually we, uh, tint pro we have another guy that's been working there for two years or three years now um he's got about 35 years experience at the business so he's definitely new and definitely knows what he's doing and we actually just signed we just hired a new guy um this week brand new fresh young young cat uh looking to get into the industry and uh we're gonna be training him the idea is because i'm taking days off it frees up overhead for the shop so that i told them a so best case scenario would be to find someone um young and and eager and wanting to learn that way when i do make my uh you know my exit my full exit i don't leave them with just one tinter i still leave them with two tinters so that was the idea and that's the way it looks like it's panning out so so that'll be interesting to to, to train a new guy here um but yeah adam uh, Adam, appreciate it, brother. No worries, man. No worries. Guys, again, I'm sorry for, for those guys that were watching before and wondering where the hell I went. Um, but uh, but yeah, I have a new I have a new schedule. I have not a new schedule, but I have a new plan in regards how to crank out these live streams. Um, so yeah. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. If you guys had any questions, I'll give it a two minute timer right here. I'll give you two minutes. If you guys had any questions, concerns, shout outs, criticisms, type them in now in the comments and then we'll go ahead and uh, you'll be doing that. So you slowly leave in the shop as it uh as it is bro that's cool yeah uh, yeah i'm slowly taking time off um from the shop there to start working and, and filling my own days um the way i did it though is I'm, i was giving them the slower days uh or actually i was giving them the more busy days the thursday friday saturdays and taking off the slower days so it's good for them and good for me i can make more money on those days um and they, they save money on their overhead on paying me so um they, it goes both ways it goes both ways advantageous for both so um, and hopefully the, the idea is that like, I'll be able to just run my own and do my own thing because it's, it's better money and I like being my own boss. So, um, all in due time though, all in due time. Uh, we still got a minute here. If you guys had any questions, concerns, big shout outs to our sponsors, guys, uh, give them some love, check them out in the description. A uh, big shout out to TintWiz. TintWiz is an, an amazing CRM suite. If you guys haven't used them, you guys got to check it out. I use it for Sun Solutions Tinting and we, uh, it basically organizes everything clients uh film organization and inventory uh in invoicing i mean so much is available check it out uh tintwiz.com you get your free 30-day trial at sign up go ahead and check it out once you try it you're gonna love it i can guarantee you that uh big shout out to dry shrink prep dry shrink preps the healthy alternative to dryer sheets now offering installation tools we're doing installation tools in three phases we're doing phase one right now but it will it will be in it will be eventually in in three phases so it'll essentially triple in size right now than what it is now and then also adding uh soak shields very coming very soon check it out dryshrinkprep.com for more information and to purchase as well and last but certainly not least solar effects window films they are my exclusive window film brand that i use for my personal business sun solutions tinning um, because they're a badass company and they have badass film and they have badass customer service. It is a good quality company to use. Um, and, and I, again, I use them exclusively for all my automotive needs for sun solutions tinning. There's a reason why. Okay. There's a reason why go ahead and check them out guys. Solar effects, window films.com. Really, really awesome guys over there. You're not going to be disappointed. I can promise you that. Any tips on perforated and doing it on flat in the cold? Whew. Uh, I don't do a lot of flat uh, uh, perforated. Um, do it in, doing it in the cold could be tough because the adhesive gets so hard, gets so hard. What you could probably do is maybe hit the hit the glass with uh, with a heat gun and warm up the glass a little bit. Now, not hot to the touch but warm enough that it'll kind of soften that adhesive when you're laying down the perforation uh uh and then um and it'll it'll it'll, it'll stick a little bit easier that's the way i would do it um and i think that i mean that makes sense to me um yeah try it that's probably going to help out a lot uh who doesn't right cool man i'm on the look 
get a bigger place too to bring in tinter a, a tinter as well hell yeah tin pro hell yeah you know it's about explore expanding and maximizing you know you, it's crazy what you can do with a two-car garage you can turn a half million dollars easily uh, probably three quarters of a million dollars a two-car garage you can run four tinters two tinters in each bay and run eight to ten cars per bay you're running 20 cars per day i mean that's serious serious cheddar you can definitely do it definitely do it um stupid stupid good options and availability man so tint pro good luck with you my friend good luck i hope uh hope it all goes well all right guys that two minute timer is up that's it for me today i really appreciate you guys joining in on us again i will be back on tuesday and or wednesday um next week we're going to be doing a 2009 ford f-150 full r and r i went ahead and used the uh, my my trusty wagner steamer i went ahead and used that to go ahead and remove all the film and we hand cut it and i show you and we're going to be actually on location at their location at a collision center so that'll be good to go you guys keep an eye out for that as well um i love you guys thank you very much for joining us and i will be back next week have a good one